How are you doing guys? Hacked Single Figures here. Hope you're well and have had a good week of golf. Right, we need to talk this week tailor-made M3 and M4 drivers because I did get to go and try them this week. So I'll let you know how I got on with that. Also, I need your help with something. Um, as you can see, I've got my woolly hat on. The weather is still dreadful and there's something that as a result of all that, I need your help with. We also need to talk about the golf that I have been able to do this week and how I've got on with that, which I'll be honest, after last week's win, it's all a bit of an anti-climax. So, should we talk some golf? Right, firstly, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who took the time to comment on the last video. Um, lots of virtual uh, pats on the backs and rounds of applause for my win. So, thank you to these people, not in order of priority. Thank you to Daniel Sutcliffe, Wayne Trunks, Kevin Friesian, Dave Parry, Gary Ray, Richard Todd, Alan Gibson, Carlos Melville, Charles Malasis, Paul Huckabee, Adam Butters, Rich Winterburn, Paul Brunt, Ian Evans and Mark Sheehan. Thank you to all those guys who all basically were giving me lots of love and encouragement for winning the competition. So guys, thanks very much. Appreciate it. So what do I need your help with? Well, the weather's really bad. It has been bad since the start of December and it's really getting annoying now. Um, I mean, the office is freezing today, which is why I've got this hat on, because it's absolutely Baltic in here. Um, it's snowing again today. I mean, it's just doing my head in. So I need to find some drills that I can do in the house. I can't really do full swing drills because I'm just going to taking a lampshade off or doing some kind of damage to the house. So there need to be sensible indoor drills. So comment below, let me know any drills that you guys have done, had success with in the past. So it might be that you're using them now, but indoor drills that you can do, not necessarily full swing drills, although I suppose we could give them a little try. So comment below, let me know what indoor drills you've been able to do. If it's a video that you've got from YouTube, Drop the link in the comments box below as well and let me have a look at it. That would be really, really much appreciated because, yeah, I'm struggling to do any kind of practice at the minute. It's doing my nutting. So what I've been up to earlier in this week, we did have a day when we had some sunshine, although it was absolutely bloody freezing. So I did get down to Howley Hall. I went on the short game area and uh, couldn't, you can't hit full shots because it was too wet. Um, so I went in the short game area and did um, a little bit of the Dave Pelts short game test. I didn't have enough time to go through the whole thing, so I reckon that'll take at least an hour. I only had about 20 minutes. So I did the long chips and short chips. So long chip being 15 to 30 yards to the pin, um, short chip being 8 to 14 yards to the pin. And you basically chip on and you give yourself a score depending on how far away from the pin you landed. So uh, between 3 and 6 feet you get a point. Um, inside of 3 feet you get 2 points. And if it's in the hole, you get four points. So I didn't do too badly on that test and it's the first time I've done it. And um, so you rate yourself, you get points scores and then you um, relate that point score to a handicap. So for the long chip, I got 13 points. Now 13 points, according to this little chart, gives me a handicap of eight. And for the short chips, I got 14 points, which gives me a handicap of six. If only I could replicate art on the course, that would be good. I think the real test is to do this, do the entire test, and then it gives you a, a much better rating of your handicap. But at least it gives me a score, to, you know, it's a marker in the sand to see how I get on moving forward. So this is definitely something I'm going to try and do every week. Although I can't really do that at the minute because it's snowing. So M3, M4 drivers, I went and tested them this week. Uh, I went and tried them up at Howley Hall Golf Club in the Ryan Russell Performance Centre. I tried them on Trapman, and I have to say, M3 I tried first, and I absolutely hated it. Seriously, I did not like it one little bit. Just did not. It felt horrible. And Ryan wasn't there, so I was sort of just... Lewis helped me out and got me set up a little bit on it, but Lewis doesn't probably know my game as much as Ryan does, so well, I wasn't custom fit for it, so I probably didn't get the best performance out of it. However, it just felt horrible. I mean, I really didn't like it. I probably only hit 10 shots with it and I was like, I don't want to, I don't even want to see that club again. I mean, it looks mint, but it felt horrendous. Tried the M4 and actually the M4 felt pretty good. Um, quite enjoyed hitting it. In terms of the twist face technology, I didn't really notice any difference. I mean, 
I hit it okay, I was hitting it pretty well, but I don't think I was getting it you know, less offline than I would do with my Epic. Um, and it certainly didn't perform any better than the Cobra F8 when I tested that. So, um, jury's still out for me on the M3, M4 and the whole twist face technology. I'm still not convinced by it, but I suppose I need to get properly fitted to really test it. But yeah, M3, for me, just didn't like it. M4 was okay, but yeah, I'm not mega impressed. So yeah, let me know if you guys have tested the M3 or M4 driver and um, let me know how you've got on with them. There's a lot of people trying these clubs. They're obviously, it's new technology. Twist face has made such a, a big noise in the market that I think people are just generally very curious about it. So let me know what you thought of them. If you did try them, comment below. Yeah, let me know how you got on with the M3 and M4 drivers. So what else have I done this week? I've been to see Rachel from Dynamic Golf. It's the first time I've seen Rachel since before Christmas. If you remember, after Christmas, I did my back in. So um, I have been training quite a lot um, and this was the first session I did. So Rachel did a bit of an assessment and it was all good. Um, she basically said that I've got much more rotation in my body, which is amazing. So it's obviously working. I think the other thing is, uh, the thing that I noticed when I was testing the M3, M4 driver is, some of the swing speeds I was getting, I mean, they were five mile an hour faster than I've ever swung it. Um, and it was consistently 98, 90, 99 miles an hour, which is, you know, I've, average for me is 93 tops, 94 if I'm really getting it out of the screw. So and some of that was, I'm a bit more aware of setting up and I'm a bit more, I'm less on my toes and a bit more on my heels, which something that Lewis and Ryan have both pointed out to me that I get a bit leaning forward. So um, it's harder for me to move the weight. But also, rotation is definitely making an impact on me and being able to turn my body a lot more and coil a little bit more and get a bit more speed is helping. So, um, as I said to Rachel, we need to get another five miles an hour because if I can get it over 100, I'll be made up. Um, then I just need to work on, out how to hit the damn thing straight. So finally, Howley Hall on Saturday. It was a four-man team Texas scramble competition. Um, our four-man team only had three because uh, Chris was working so there was only three of us so it was I can't, it was like I can't remember what the handicap it was like a quarter of the combined handicap or something it was really hard to work out so but yeah we did all right um, we scored okay I think we finished seven under nowhere near winning it um, the course was super wet I mean so much rain snow rain snow some more rain a little bit more snow and yeah that's that's what the course has been like. So it wasn't in great shape. We were on temporary greens as well. So it just wasn't a lot of fun. I'll be dead honest with you. It just wasn't enjoyable. Um, like I say, we did all right. My game was scabby. It was like a totally different player would come out compared to the one from the week before. I don't know if that's just because I played more golf or the week before. I'm not sure, but oh God, it was... It was just hard work. I had loads of layers on as well, so I couldn't really swing. Who else thinks winter golf is just miserable? So this week, I'm going to play at Sandburn Hall in York with Four Business. So I'm looking forward to that because I've heard that it's a very, very dry golf course. So fingers crossed we have some decent weather and it's a dry golf course. It could be nice to get out and actually play somewhere that I'm not trudging around in mud. I'm also catching up with Ryan this week. He's going to have a little look at my swing, a bit of a catch up. Um, hopefully we're going to do Trapman Combine Test. So again, we can put a marker in the sand and see where my game's at, and then we can test it on a monthly basis. Um, hopefully, we're gonna try the G400 Max driver from Ping. Now, this is a driver that everybody I know in golf, or who's close to golf, is raving about. Owen from Golf Shake cannot rave about this golf club enough. He just thinks I will love it, so keen to have a little try of this one so i'm going to go and give that a bash this week hopefully as well so that's it for another week guys thanks to everybody who's watched the video thank you for commenting and thank you for subscribing if you are new to the channel make sure you click the button below and subscribe and follow me on this journey to single figures guys thank you so much for watching have a great week of golf and i'll chat to you again soon